<laughs> this movie's ridiculous. In the third <laughs> act, Batman cuts a bunch of balloons free. Nowadays, we got like nuclear weapons and infinity stones and other multiverses. Yeah. yeah. How did they get a hold of these plans, though, for real? They had to have done something that we like must have been talking over. I just don't remember. Yeah, but where would the schematics for this Batmobile be? On Reddit, bro, Val Kilmer? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think I'm swooning over Val Kilmer. Sorry, Glenn's girl, but your time is up, okay? <laughs> That's our hat. They should have had Mr. Freeze do that in uh, Arkham City. I will kill you next time, Batman. Nora. The clown stole my formula. What killed the dinosaurs? <laughs> the, the Ice, ice Age. age. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Nicholson got top billing. I forgot about <laughs> Over that. Michael Keaton, that's crazy. What, what's your attachment to this film? I kind of watched it religiously when I was younger, and I was kind of like, Batman! It made me smile all the time. It was great. It was a good time. Let's see if it holds up, though, because uh, I haven't watched it in, in a while. I had the DVD, you know, the Batman DVD that, like, it, there was, like, a flap on it on the With on just the, right the bat symbol on it in the front? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I want everyone to keep note of all the extras here for this scene and then just look at all of the lack of extras and batman returns <laughs> just keep that in mind do the kid a favor full screen when you were a kid were you kind of confused thinking that this was bruce wayne's origin because it follows yeah. it almost beat by beat i thought it was 100 percent bruce wayne's origin but then he didn't shoot the kid or not the kid he didn't shoot the parents so he should have shot the kid <laughs> now shut up Shut up. Holding a cigarette in your mouth for that long is kind of hard. You have to like understand how to breathe because the smoke will get in your <laughs> eye and you will get very mad at yourself for being such a moron. I've done it so many times. I don't because that's bad. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> what are you? I'm Batman. Hell yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, beat up those pores, you billionaire sexy man with your rubber <laughs> suit. Ooh, that was a shot. Shots? <laughs> that was a really good shot. There is a horror aspect to this movie, mm -hmm. and I think it has a lot to do with Tim Burton's obsession with German expressionism, which you can see throughout his entire filmography, mm -hmm. mostly in his early filmography because he kind of he kind of became a hack later. But <laughs> the, all of his early work is fucking flames. It's all intentional too. It's great. It feels dirty. I hope the Batman captures that with its aesthetic and stuff. We'll see. It is shot in Blackpool, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be really sad when Jack Nicholson dies, dude. I'm gonna be like, like clinically depressed. I mean, I already am, but like, I'm gonna be even more clinically depressed. He hasn't made a movie in 12 years. It's been 12 years? The last movie he did, it was in 2010. It was a James L. Brooks movie. We're old, yo. Oh my God. 2010 was 12 years ago. That's insane. Oh, look, it's Bob Kane, that fucking uh, thief. <laughs> that hack. Bruce Wayne's been a bit. He'll be there, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't seem to be on the guest list, no. This scene would be like two boring ass medium close ups. Yeah, nowadays. They have their own coverage, but it's purposeful. Look, and that shot goes into that shot. Tim Burton mm -hmm. is kind of directing right now. What the heck? Look up later if this is uh, Mr. Sweeney from Ned's Declassified. Jack Palance? No. The dude who was standing and talking. Him. That's Jack Palance, brother. Is it? Is that? Is that Mr. Sweeney from Nancy Classified? Bro, what are you talking about, man? He died in 2006. No, it's not him. <laughs> I tried my best. You are my number one guy. <sighs> Look at all these white people. Hey, there's a black guy right there. Oh yeah, I see him right there. Yeah. Another one. Okay. There's another one in the back too. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Three black people in one shot. Wow, this is revolutionary. All this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, probably doesn't get chicks. They like him for his big charity balls. It's interesting that if you think about like famous people then and famous people now, like they don't even know what he looks like. I think that's aged kind of well. Yeah. Showing the before times. Now everybody knows who Jeff Bezos is. Shoot to kill. Know what I mean? But he's a cop. Yeah, that's weird. Cops don't do stuff like that. Are you kidding me? This baby is off the charts. <laughs> Damn, look at those shadows. What the fuck? Oh, dude, movies used to be so good. We might have to just retire digital and go back to film forever. I think that's a wave. The texture it just looks better. It just does. Good Lord. <laughs> oh, is he dead? <laughs> that was so violent. 
Okay, so this scene horrified me when I was a kid. For obvious Who reasons. I mean, yeah, yeah, look at this shit. Look, look it's already yeah. horrifying. They really don't make them like how they used to. <laughs> I've got to say. Remember, you are my number one guy. Did he do this in the comics or is this introduced in this movie? Um, I have no idea, but we can find out. Mm -hmm. And by we, I mean you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that bomber jacket is wavy. Ooh, that's definitely a fit. <laughs> just say it just say it say it go ahead what what i don't know he's looking at this girl he's like stop the presses say the line bart <laughs> we have to think we 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 you're putting me on the spot no i don't know I, that's I, me I... when i see my girl come on bro <laughs> oh. <laughs> i had to think about it. i was like wait what but no it is that is really me when i see my girl it's true we're about to watch a reporter get coronavirus in real time. <laughs> this just in. Ooh, the body aches are coming. Three mysterious deaths at a beauty parlor in... <laughs> Ooh, a sore throat. Becky. Kill a camera. Oh my gosh. This is very cool. <laughs> this movie's insane. The next Batman adaptation has to be a period piece. I don't want modern shit anymore. <laughs> I want to go back to this. You see how she's wearing the mask over her nose? <laughs> Do you see that, people? You idiots. Wear it over your nose. If you have it under your nose, it does not work. It's very suspicious that Batman came to save this one person. Yeah, how did he know again? Uh, don't think about it. <laughs> did they not say? His suit is kind of cool as hell, honestly. It like, when he's nice. not turning around, it looks cool. But then he turns his head and the illusion is ruined. Did they shoot this in New York? Because that's a lot of trash. <laughs> he looks so dumb. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, this is when we get Scarlett Johansson's cameo in the film. The karate guy? <laughs> he kind of looks funny, to be honest. <laughs> like, when you're this close up to him. Are you telling me we shouldn't be seeing the Batman in full light? That light there was nice with just his eyes. I thought we right. felt something. Well, and I you trusted you, and I even slept with you. I can't believe I did well, that. And then you I... wouldn't return my phone calls? You must be some... She did that on the first date? I mean, look at him. I thought she just kissed, and they went to bed. Don't you people judge me! Someone probably tried that and then died. Because <laughs> people watch movies and they think they're real. What's your take on this? Joker being the one who killed his parents. What's your take? What do you think? Spoilers. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but... <laughs> I was going to say, it's kind of lame. <laughs> Did you see the subtitles for that? It said, see you around, little kid. I don't need subtitles, because this is back when actors used to enunciate when they spoke words in movies. <laughs> oh, this is when Alfred Barr to the back. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ooh, I do not like it when the lighting changes, when the shot changes. I do not like that. It's a pet peeve of mine with cinematography. It really breaks the illusion. I didn't notice it, but I'll notice it in the edit. When they cut to his face, the key light which is the main light was way brighter and hotter than it was in the profile shot i assume they had to do it because they changed lenses they made the shot tighter so they had to bump up the light so that the film can catch the light but it still looked weird oh he kills a bunch of people in this scene right or am i crazy yeah he bombs this whole place <laughs> they shouldn't have been there yeah they just shouldn't have you. been there you know, I tried to do it in that sort of um, technical way. Hubba, 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 money, money, money. Who do you trust? <laughs> hubba, 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 money, money, money. Is this Kevin Feige? Hey, I'm dropping another Spider-Man movie. You know right now it's like the eighth highest grossing film of all time? You know we got two Spider-Man movies before we got Captain Marvel 2? <laughs> or Black Panther 2? Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, this is like the amazing Spider-Man. Where he tried to turn everybody into a lizard. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this movie's ridiculous. In the third <laughs> act, Batman cuts a bunch of balloons free. Nowadays, we got like nuclear weapons and infinity stones and other multiverses. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Ooh, Batman is murdering. Oh, yeah, they're dead. That's, that's something Batman wouldn't do. <laughs> <laughs> this is so dumb. Uh-oh. Is the movie becoming bad? <laughs> Ooh, look at this practical 
miniature set. Ooh, it's kind of looking like a miniature, though. Whoa. I can't believe that's a line that Batman says. Uh-oh, Batman's doing it by proxy right now. <laughs> Shouldn't have been around that gargoyle. I wonder who could afford to make that <laughs> and give it to the police. Who in the city has the resources and the time? Hmm. Uh, I'm just going to wait for him at home while he beats up some pores. Some underprivileged people. Some people who just don't work hard enough, brother. Look at Batman. Sigma grinding. Now, a lot of people didn't even know that Sigma males existed until last week. Cool. Well, we did it. We did it. We watched Batman. So how do you feel about Batman 89? I think it was a very good movie, even though the third act kind of fell flat, to be honest. A nice interpretation of Batman, I guess. I liked Gotham, how it seemed grimy and disgusting and all that stuff. And I really liked how this was actually like shot with purpose and intention. And that mm -hmm. was nice. And I liked all the um, in-camera stuff. The story was fine, um, except for the third act stuff. But yeah, it's it's serviceable. I'd watch it again. Yeah, I liked it. I do agree that it fell apart at the end because I guess like the first act is super strong. Mm -hmm. Everything up until I guess the Joker gets introduced, like after that point, that first like 45 minutes is like perfect. And then the middle of the movie is kind of good. There's some fun stuff with the Joker doing the coronavirus and all that. And mm -hmm. the end is just slop. It really is just <laughs> slop. It's just weak stuff that they have to put in or else the hogs won't like the movie, I guess. And the end really does bring the movie down for me because I just don't care about anything that's happening. And yeah, I'm giving Batman a 7 out of 10. Me too. Okay, cool. On to Batman Returns. Yes, sir. Interior. Mansion. We open on Pee Wee Herman looking outside of a window. <laughs> Sorry, I should have said interior mansion night. I don't know if I specified. Interior mansion night. Pee Wee Herman and woman do the exact same thing that Pee Wee Herman did in the previous scene. Ooh, this movie looks crisp in 4K. You can really feel how small this set is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the snow looks kind of good, though. And hey, look, Michael Keaton got top billing. Oh, yeah, Christopher Walken is Shrek. I forgot. Wow, you wow, wow, wow. If I want to give some back. The crowd sound effects. They have an actual crowd there. Why don't they just use them? Because sound doesn't matter when you're shooting a movie, haven't you heard? Never mind about what I said about the music, honestly. What the hell is going on? <laughs> I was thinking this is kind of a cartoon, Loki. Loki? Like, what happened? Well, to be fair, this is a movie where a guy is a penguin. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Cool. One perfect shot. Two perfect shots. Three, Three perfect, perfect shots. shots. You'll have to go through me. Chip. That go, save yourself. He's doing a Christopher Walken impression. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear him? Yeah, I hear him. Dad, go! Murder. Oh, yeah. Murder's happening right now. He built that jack just to do murder. He was like, you know what? This will come in handy one day. A slow and painful death. Yep. Sounds like Batman to me, brother. <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know, for a second there, you really frightened me. <laughs> Michelle Pfeiffer kind of ate that scene, not gonna lie. Yes, she did. Ooh. If this scene doesn't happen, we wouldn't have gotten Catwoman the way it was. <laughs> yeah, that's true. The first movie was like grimy and goofy, but the suspension of disbelief was enough. Mm -hmm. And then this movie opens and it's like penguin people and cat people get revived by cats and <laughs> cats are magic. Ooh, if this was today, they would have her eyes in the shape of cats. Like, you know, the, the diamond thing that cats usually have in their eyes. You, you mean like in 2004 when they did Catwoman? <laughs> Oh, is that what happened? Yeah. <laughs> so she has superpowers now, right? She has the power to chug milk. I love the music for Catwoman. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, not like that clown shit we heard earlier. <laughs> the fuck is that background? What is that? Where does that go? Where does that lead? Or is that just a press conference area? Remember when you said that the crowds are like, they seem smaller in Gotham in this one? Yeah, no one lives here. Yeah, it does feel like that. Damn, that podium is kind of cheap looking too, not gonna lie. 
Oh no, Ooh, that, that sound stock effect. Stock sound effect. Ooh, look at you. Look at that. Yeah, it looks nice. Yo, Stefan really popped off here. Look at this shit. Oh Jesus. It's like that character. That character from, from that, that book. book. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've met. Have we? Oh, I'm sorry. You know what? I mistook me for somebody else. I'm sorry. That was dumb. Why would he say that? He was just so blinded by her hotness. But this is Batman. <laughs> yeah, but she's hot. <laughs> Look at him. Look. Damn, isn't it crazy? Every second year of a decade, we've gotten a Catwoman and Batman story. 1992, 2012, 2022. Oh, yeah. Numbers. That's crazy. It's a conspiracy. That's why they did COVID. So then we can get the Batman <laughs> in 2022. I'd much rather not be disturbed now. Disturbed? Because I am stricken. Did you know that was the first Disturbed song I ever listened to? Yep, because of Guitar Hero 3. That's right, brother. What do you think? We're not friends, bitch? <laughs> Teach my French flipper trick. This suit's kind of cooler in this movie than it was in the first. Is it? I was kind of thinking it's kind of mid. I kind of don't like the plating like that. I kind of like when it looks like... You prefer the bad nipples <laughs> adjacent? People really got wound up about the nipples, huh? Ew, that's kind of gay. But this is for men. <laughs> <laughs> or, or whatever fucking nerds nerds are annoying low-key high-key we are it's okay they're just jocks but it's like if sports had fan fiction that's what like superheroes are my character is better than your character because he's a bigger stronger boy and he has cooler <laughs> powers no goku always wins so whatever <laughs> meow meow Ooh, that was a different person in that second shot who was it? I didn't even see it. It went from like Michelle Pfeiffer to Courtney Cox. Like that's how different it was. These sets are definitely smaller. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> it's so weird. The city feels compact in a way. Wait, wasn't he below her? Yeah, he was. How did he get? No, he was, he was above her because he was looking down. But it was kind of still weird because... No, she was above him. Yeah, the scale is like noticeably smaller. I don't know what happened. What's the budget on this in comparison to the first movie? It definitely has to be more, right? It should be more. The first movie was like one of the biggest movies of all time at the time. The budget for the first film was 35 million. This budget was 80 million. Oh, wow. Where'd the money go? The, the first film made 40 million opening weekend. It made its budget back in one weekend. That's good. Let's see what that is adjusted for inflation. I'm going to say... Oh, this is the line. Wait. Just the pussy I've been looking for. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yikes. It's like 90 million. I was going to say 120, but that's still good. Yeah, that's what Justice League made. <laughs> We're going to disassemble his Batmobile and turn it into an H-bomb on wheels. How'd they get that? I literally don't know. Was there a scene where they, like, did something? I think there might have been, but I just don't remember. Why is the camera not pointed down on his shot? Why is it eye level with him? That's weird. Because it's not eye level with her. It's looking up. Look, and he's looking straight at the camera. Yeah. That's kind of weird. Batman blows it? He probably saved millions of dollars in property damage alone. He's a cop. <laughs> the first thing that came to his mind was property damage. <laughs> not the lives. Lives? Look at her face. Oh, my goodness. Look at her. Oh my goodness. Look. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that the Selena Kyle and Bruce Wayne aspect of this film is interesting, but the penguin stuff, I don't care about at all. Let her know that none of them going to dumb be my girlfriend kind of way. I will relay the message. Great. Because that part was cute. And then she does the exact same thing. I've been going through a lot of um, changes. And... <sighs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> How did they get a hold of these plans, though, for real? They had to have done something that we, like, must have been talking over. I just don't remember. Yeah, but where would the schematics for this Batmobile be? On Reddit. Why can't she just get down? <laughs> right? Why didn't Batman go to save her as she was falling? Because he has to waddle in that suit. <laughs> Touch of the bubbly. If you ever use the term bubbly unironically, that's a red flag. Go to therapy. <laughs> Same with the word flick. I fucking hate that word. Ooh, let's go check out that new Spider-Man flick. It was a nice flick. Like, go kill yourself. Hypothetically. Ooh, that is rough. Doesn't look good. Kind of yikes. I feel like this film is weaker than the first film. Who let Vicky Vale into the Batcave? 
I'm sitting there working, and I turn around, there she is. Oh, hi, Vic. Come on in. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I feel like this movie is weaker. Like, what will happen if Oswald Cobblepot becomes mayor? He'll just do the same dumb shit that every other politician does, where they lie to the people about their progressive policy positions, and then they turn around and say, fuck you guys, I'm a corrupt politician. Like... So what? That's gonna happen anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really care about his goals, really. I played this stinking city like a heart from hell. <laughs> I'll kidnap a thousand children before I let this company die. From hell. Oh, God. There it is. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Mistletoe can be deadly if you eat it. I guess it can be even deadly. Oh, I like this. Yeah, that was good. Man, Michelle Pfeiffer is really the star of the show, huh? Do you remember Mother and how great she was in Mother? Yeah, she was good. Good. Academy Award. For your children! Yes! Ooh, did you hear that? Academy Award stock sound? Yikes again. What the hell is happening? <laughs> Why be biased? Male and female! L! The sexes are equal! Based. That's right. Our communist king. Bruce Wayne 40 minutes ago. I saved like millions of dollars in property damage. I think that place was run down though, right? Yeah, but it's public property now. And I was in the middle of a park. Your blood, Max. My blood, I gave at the office. My blood, I gave at the office. It was in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> this watch was in my ass. Right down the center. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it is noticeable. This is a kid's movie. Yikes. <laughs> oh, good lord. Tim Burton has no chill. Where is everyone? <laughs> People are just gone. <laughs> Anyone? Anywhere? Can we get a background actor on set, please? I don't know. For some reason, when I watched it Christmas Eve, I had a much better time. I think it's because I'm watching this right after watching the first film, mm -hmm. and the differences are a lot more glaring, and it's not as good, but... Michael Keaton gets more to do as Bruce Wayne with the Selena Kyle stuff, which is nice, but he's just not my Batman, and I feel like that's okay. Yeah, the Penguin stuff is super weak and too Tim Burton-y. It's very grotesque, but like in the worst way. Well, there is. There's stuff there. It's just not... It's not fully realized, I think. Yeah. Um, cinematography went off, King. The music at times was fun. You can feel the length with this one. With the other one, it kind of felt like you were along for the ride. But this one was like, eh. I'm going to give it a six, but it could be a five. I am at a five, 100%. Damn, that's crazy. It's not, <laughs> there's stuff about this that I like. It's just mess. It's just a mess. I like it, but I just feel like it's super mid. Well, on to the next film. Heartbreak feels good in a place hey. like this. Ooh, Chris O'Donnell. What's that show? Fire Squad 911. What? He's on a show that, like, does fire stuff, I think. They save people from fires. Wait, hold on. We gotta look at this fire opening. <laughs> nice crotch. Nice. 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 Oh, this looks so good in 4K. Music's kind of good. <gasps> Are yeah. those nipples? <laughs> Can I persuade you to take a sandwich with you, sir? I'll get drive through. What the fuck? A joke? Batman can't say jokes. Ooh, look at this Gotham. This is a different Gotham. <laughs> Very colorful. It's kind of gay. It's super gay. <laughs> and it's gonna get gayer, and the gayer it gets, the madder the nerds get. It's great. Remember when he was um black? Two Face was black. Harvey oh, Dent. Harvey Dent. Oh, Harvey Dent. Oh, Harvey Dent. Oh, yeah. Or... Oh, wow. They re Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Imagine if Billy D. Williams was in this movie. That would be nuts. I never thought about that. He was two face in, in Lego Batman. Did you know that? I did not. Hot entrance. She said hot entrance. More like hot woman. woman. More like Batman has a type. <laughs> By the way, do you have a first name or do I just call you Bats? So that's what so that that's feels what like. That's what that feels like. <laughs> I love how the audio isn't even synced to his mouth either. Yeah, right? <laughs> Hello, Fred. New inspection to the departmental highlight. Oh my god, it's him. Wait, didn't we see this movie? Didn't we upload a commentary of this movie like last month? Batman Forever? Yeah. Isn't that um Max Dillon? Damn, Gotham is kind of the city that sleeps, huh? <laughs> they have bedtimes over here. Yeah, right? Nobody does anything at night. Women. 
Ooh, this is a considerably worse movie than <laughs> the other two so far. <laughs> oh, we. When did um, Ace Ventura come out? Do you know? The year before this. Do you think they saw that and they were like, just do that? Or I guess, I guess every movie he's in, to be honest, in the 90s. All right, I'm going to hot take it up in here. I think Dumb and Dumber is a bad movie. It is a bad movie. Hello? Who's... People think that movie is funny. <laughs> that movie's not good. That movie's stupid. I don't really like any of the Jim Carrey comedies except for Liar Liar. Oh, and Grinch, obviously. That's a masterpiece. All right, confession time. This is how I thought babies were made for like a couple years. He looks just like your boss. Batman tried to save him. Dent's left brain damage transformed him into a... Val Kilmer looks so good in this scene, or in this movie. Yeah, he's got that Bruce Wayne face. Yep, definitely suicide. <laughs> oh my god. They make the cops in these movies look so stupid. Bro, Val Kilmer? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think I'm swooning over Val Kilmer. Sorry, Glenn's girl, but your time is up, okay? <laughs> That's right. I do like the lighting. It's very soft and glowy. There aren't a whole lot mm -hmm. of shadows, but you see how in the background there's very shapely shadows, sort of like the Venetian blinds and noirs. It's mm -hmm. there, it's in the background, but also when they're walking through the set, you can see it on their faces too. It creates dimension. It's kind of cool. That's cool. What is it you really came here for? Yikes. Time's up. Bruce Wayne likes to microdose on therapy. His other therapy is beating up poor goons. Oh my god, I forgot. This is the origin of Robin. Robin's just a grown man in this movie. Yes, he is. And he adopts him. He's like 24 and he's like, let me adopt you. Wait, have you seen that TikTok of that kid learning that dick is a name? <laughs> yeah. So I could just say, what's up, dick? How you doing, dick? If that's his name, yeah. <laughs> Do you think that we will get a Robin eventually in this new Matt Reeves verse or probably not? I mean, that would be cool. Could it be done seriously? Yeah, you can. You just have to do it right. That's true, yeah. Let me just pitch Robin in a in a film, okay? Batman does everything in his power to make sure that Dick Grayson doesn't do what he does. And instead of Alfred encouraging mm -hmm. Dick Grayson, he tries to be the good cop to Bruce Wayne's bad cop. And then mm -hmm. something has to happen where Bruce Wayne finds it okay to do it. He has to prove himself is basically what I'm saying. He can't just be Robin. Yeah. Because it's just, it's bad. The Batman cartoon that I rewatched last year, I think they did a good job with it from what I remember. But like, it was a cartoon. So, <laughs> well, this is too. <laughs> nice save. But I thought you wanted Zuko to get what was coming to him. Well, he did, didn't he? Justice. And also, I think he would have to dabble more in the Batcave side of things instead of going out and fighting, like, as a boy, you know? Like, doing tech stuff. Mm -hmm. Like what Alfred does. Yeah. Like, maybe Alfred gets McGregor syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so they're dead. Just a friend. But you can call me... The Riddler. <laughs> this movie's super gay. <laughs> I mean, look at him. What is Jim Carrey doing in this scene? He's eating. Ooh, what a tonal shift. Nope. Nope, same tone. Okay, yeah. Laundry karate. Ooh, why do you do that? <laughs> this is dumb. <laughs> that was so out of place. Why didn't they just add that in after this robbery? I don't even know how to answer that question, honestly. With all due respect, sir, I think that's why they call him the Riddler. Well, the scenes move by, like, lightning. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, they do. And look, we're about to be in the middle of another thing. My <laughs> goodness. It is constantly moving. Ooh, what is the camera doing? It's as if he's cursed to pay some great penance. Now what crime could he have committed to deserve a life of nightly torture? She thinks it's torture, but he likes it. I love beating up poor people so much. This movie's kind of bad. <laughs> like, not yeah. good. I imagined it was him that I was fighting. Even when I was fighting you. And all the pain went away. I want to beat up poor people too. I want to fuck them up, Bruce. <laughs> I want to fuck them up so bad. That'll get me through my pain. So you're willing to take a life. As long as it's Two-Face. Damn, this movie's kind of talking about ending lives when Batman literally kills Two-Face at the end of this movie. He's like moralizing about murder when he literally does the murder at the end. 
And he kills all those people in the alleyway, too. Remember with the explosion? Yeah. At least Val Kilmer looks great. I'm Bruce Wayne, miss. Oh, <laughs> you can call me anything you want. She's honestly me, though, if I saw Val Kilmer <laughs> in this movie in real life. Just hanging out with Two-Face, no big deal in front of everybody. Nobody's going to question why Edward Nygma's just casually talking with Two-Face? The stunt double? Oh, That's yep. Batman right now? That is not Val Kilmer's chiseled jaw. I would know. You spent a lot of time looking at his hot bod. <laughs> oh, that is not his chin at all. That is not even close to Val Kilmer's <laughs> face. Oh my god. <laughs> Who did the music for this? Uh, Elliot Goldenthal. He's low-key going off. I think it improves in Batman and Robin. The best part of the movie is the music, to be honest. Yeah, Elliot Goldenthal won an Oscar for Frida for best music. That is not Val Kilmer. Or is it? No, it's not. It's not him. Why is he not showing up in his own movie? What is happening? <laughs> I only show up for the close-ups. Well, he's, he's not you. I hope you can understand. Oh, wait, here comes the smile. Yeah. Now this is a devious lick. When she falls for one of your personalities. I'm afraid they've taken Dr. Meridian. Master Dick has run away. Master Dick. So as a butler, <laughs> you could just go up to people and call them, Hey, Master Dick. He said, What's up, Dick? <laughs> How you doing, Dick? Oh, I kind of want that jacket. Yeah, it's a nice jacket. Batman will come for me. Shh, me too. Who the hell's doing that? The Riddler. <laughs> I'm glad they let us know who was doing that. I really wanted to know who was doing that. That's awesome. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. This movie kind of reminds me of the Adam West series, to be honest. Yeah, that's what it's going for, but... <laughs> it's ridiculous. The problem is that it's doing it halfway. It's like a mix of Batman Returns and Batman and Robin. Whoa, that ass shot. Ooh, Jesus Christ. You saw that badass? I can't promise I won't kill Harvey. A man's gotta go his own way. What? <laughs> There's no way. I can't promise I'll, I won't kill. No problem. <laughs> it is what it is. You gotta do what you gotta do. There's a stunning amount of things going on in this movie that Batman straight up does not know about at all. <laughs> he just doesn't know that that thing can shoot stuff. He didn't even know it was there. Like, how did they make that without him investigating it at least? Yeah, right? I don't know, man. How did he get down there? You're always of two minds about everything. Premeditated murder. He brought the coins. <laughs> this is murder, everyone. I just want to let you know that Batman killed him. This is not Two Face's fault. This is Batman's fault. He's the one who threw the coins. He brought the coins. He knew exactly what was going to happen because he smirked before he did it. Robin's like, why well, can you kill him, but I can't? Who the hell is this? <laughs> Ooh, that's got to be Dr. Hugo Strange. Let me find out. His name is Dr. Burton. And he has the same awesome. hair as Tim Burton. <laughs> Great. The horns on Batman's head jiggle like they're... Like they're rubber? Made of like foam or something, yeah. <laughs> nice. Damn, no no kiss from a rose. Ooh, what is this song? Man, I... That was really... Wait, John Favreau was in this movie? Ooh, assistant, yeah. All right, I guess I'm just gonna have to go back and find him. This was not a good time. It's kind of like embarrassing, to be honest. <laughs> Compared to the other two. Okay, so I, th I said this before already, but I'm just going to reiterate it. I think the main problem with this movie is that the tone is inconsistent. And it wants to be dark, but it also wants to be Adam West's Batman. And it can't decide mm -hmm. which one it wants to be. But in Batman and Robin, it doesn't really try to be dramatic very much. But here... Unless, like, the Riddler is in the scene, then it's just kind of a normal movie. And when the Riddler shows up, it's like, okay, well, we have to be a Jim Carrey thing now because Jim Carrey is in front of the camera now. And Tommy Lee Jones is sort of phoning it in. Or just, I don't know. I, mean, he, I, I, I don't, fuck it, I don't care. Uh, yeah, I don't like this movie. I, it's, it's the worst one, in my opinion. What are you going to give it? Well, how do you feel besides... Do you, do you have anything else to add? Uh, Val Kilmer is a honk. That's it, basically. <laughs> it's just super embarrassing. Like, oof. It kind of like irks my skin that this is a Batman film. But Oh, wait, oh, it's wait. playing. There it is Why right there. Why didn't they play this right when the movie ended? 
<laughs> people had to wait for this? People were just sitting in the theater and then they were like, oh, what is this song? At least this movie gave us this song. I guess. Did you know when it snows? Yeah, bad movie. I'm giving it a 3 out of 10. I think I am too. I liked some of the fits and some of the production design and some of the lighting, but the camera angles ruin it. Yeah, it's a 3. Okay, next movie. There's more Batman on the way, and it starts right now. Arnold Schwarzenegger got top billing over George Clooney. Oh my god, <laughs> look at that. Oh my god, is Uma Thurman getting bottom billing out of the main cast? Ooh, the disrespect. You no, know, because what's her name? Batgirl. Oh, wait. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The two women. Yeah. <laughs> and we have women in this movie, by the way. The iconic score is back. Nice. The logos are flying. That looked kind of cool. Iconic. Hell yeah, brother. Zoom yeah, in. Yeah, the nipples. The ass. The penis. The ass. <laughs> the dick. The penis. Damn, they're serving. I guess it's kind of thematic. <laughs> it's kind of thematic because in the plot, they like compare themselves to each other. They battle each other low key. So mm -hmm. it starts off like that. It's kind of art. He kind of looks dumb. Though. <laughs> he looks goofy. Ooh, Robin got a better costume. Uh oh, not McGregor syndrome. <laughs> oh no. Batman. <laughs> what, was, what was this movie like in your childhood? This is the one that I would watch a lot, to be honest. Same! And, um... Oh my god. It was god. always on TV. Yep. It was always on TV. We always got it on Netflix when Netflix DVDs used to come in the mail. Oh, really? And I would just watch it. Yeah. I know it's bad, but, like... But is it bad, though? In my heart, it's there. But is it? You don't have to feel ashamed. <laughs> it's 2022, okay? No, don't worry. I don't feel ashamed. It's been 25 years since this movie came out. Show some mercy! Mercy? <laughs> I'm kind of having a ball already. Unlike the other one, it fully embraces the camp. Yeah, there's a tonal consistency for the most part. And already you can tell like the framing is a lot more sure of itself than the other film. It's very smooth and cool. And look at this shot. Look at this set. Oh my yeah. God. A real set. I mean, it's a ridiculous a real costume. set. <laughs> <laughs> when are they gonna bring back Mr. Freeze though? It's about time. He's gonna be fully CGI. I don't know if I want to look at that. Oh, yeah, they're gonna CGI his fucking suit, aren't they? Yeah. Ice skates. <laughs> <laughs> what killed the dinosaurs? The, the Ice, Ice Age. Age. Yes, sir. <laughs> Dinosaur sound. <laughs> you heard the roar? <laughs> oh, boy. I wish superhero movies had like real stuff in it like this today. Like practical sets. You're so asking practical. for too much. Stop it. Quiet. <laughs> nope. Just enjoy the slop, okay? Enjoy <laughs> your Spider-Man with his CGI suit. Like they could if they tried. Yeah, if they tried. The main producer of all of those movies literally was shocked by the idea of shooting outside. I will never forget <laughs> it. He was like, who knew that you could go outside and shoot a movie in magic hour and it looks pretty like he only watches his own movies that's what he sounded like <laughs> when he said that statement kevin feige what are you doing brother it's so cringe stay, stay cool, cool bird boy <laughs> everything this man says has to do with being cold <laughs> <laughs> can you be cold batman <laughs> can you be cold batman <laughs> jesus christ <laughs> <laughs> i'll kill you next time they should have had Mr. Freeze do that in uh, Arkham City. I will kill you next time, Batman. Nora. The clown stole my formula. What killed the dinosaurs? <laughs> the, the Ice, ice Age. age. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what I remember from my childhood? Being attracted to Uma Thurman in this movie. <laughs> Yes, 100%. <laughs> I low-key think that she was my sexual awakening. I have like a flood of memories from these movies. It's like, it's this, the Charlie's Angels movie, Christine Baranski and the Grinch, and something else that I can't put my finger on. But there were a couple, and this was a big one for me. I think it was this when she kisses Robin at the end, or... Kirsten Dunst in Spider-Man 1, where she is in the rain, in the rain with <laughs> Oh, like, man. I saw that as a boy, and I said, ooh. And nowadays, it's Val Kilmer in Batman Forever. You're in your gay arc. <laughs> yeah, I had a friend uh, when I was a kid. I guess he was, he was always gay, obviously. But um, when he was a kid, 
we used to watch this movie whenever I slept over at his house, and he was obsessed with Uma Thurman in this movie, but, like, not in the same way that I was obsessed with Uma Thurman in this movie. And <laughs> really? he would, like, do impressions of her, and, like, he would pretend to be her. Like, you know how kids pretend to be characters? He was like, I'll be Poison yeah. Ivy, and I was like, okay, dude, no problem. <laughs> I don't care. Is he gay now? Mega. <laughs> Humongously. He puts the gay in gay. <laughs> this film brought me a lot of memories and that Dude, is not too, we're sure. not biased okay for for having a good time watching this movie <laughs> it's just doing the most where batman forever wasn't doing enough this is i mean look at this movie it's embracing all of it it's ruining bane and i don't even care <laughs> <laughs> bane in this movie is he's kind of just like the hulk right he's just a meathead yeah who doesn't say words. But um, but he was introduced in the 90s, so I'm kind of figuring out, like, why, though? Because he was a popular character. The guy who plays Bane is kind of, like, on steroids, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure he died. Wait, really? Yeah. I forgot his name, though. The guy who played Bane died the year this movie came out. Oh, really? Yeah, Jeep Swenson. He died at the age of 40. That's depressing. I'm going through the cast, and I see what Vivica A. Fox's character's name is, and you won't believe it when I tell you. <laughs> what is it? Her name is Miss B... Haven. <laughs> oh my gosh. As in misbehaving. <laughs> That's ridiculous. You know what's ridiculous? George Clooney as Bruce Wayne. Definitely the worst Bruce Wayne by far. Oh yeah. Not because he's not talented, but he's not doing the look. Like the hair yes. and the, I don't know. The voice. His voice for Bruce Wayne and Batman are just the same thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why is he smiling so much? That's what Batman does, don't you know? Here comes my awakening. She can, she can, she can... <laughs> You're so flabbergasted, you don't even know what to say. <laughs> she can murder me, I guess. They replaced my blood with aloe, my skin with chlorophyll, and filled my lips. Mm. Uh -oh. mm. With venom. venom. <laughs> That's my face when I heard venom for the first time. Wayne Enterprises. He's still there posing. <laughs> <laughs> they reuse that shot. <laughs> I think this is where Vivica A. Fox comes in. No, her name is Miss B. Haven, okay? <laughs> yeah. Talk, Talk about, about your cold, cold shoulder. shoulder. Unless the city bows to my demands, it's winter fiver here in Gotham. Ooh, you saw that ADR? It was not synced up. I needed to tell you my backstory. Now get the fuck out of here. <laughs> It's fucking filmmaking. Hell yeah, brother. I can't believe this composer invented music. It's crazy. <laughs> he like invented wavy air, you know? Her name's Barbara, right? Yeah. Is it Barbara Gordon? She's uh, his niece. So it's... Barbara Pennyworth? Barbara Wilson, I guess. Sure. Danny Elfman who? Hans Zimmer who? <laughs> John Williams, never heard of him, honestly. Actually trash in music. And step on it. Step. <laughs> Is that real? No. It looks good, though. You sure? <laughs> no, it's not real, no. It looks very good. We know nothing about this girl. That's great. Yeah, she's kind of just a prop in this movie. All right, Uma Thurman's about to spit bars here. Get ready. You're about to say, wait, she's the bad guy? And yet, you spoil her lands. Poison her oceans, blacken her skies. You're killing her. Ooh, she's the bad guy? <laughs> I told you. Millions of people would die of cold and hunger alone. Acceptable losses in the battle to save the planet. Yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh wait, never mind. She she is the bad guy. You you must be new. Batman and Robin protects us. It's fucking stupid. <laughs> So rich people will have you believe that philanthropy is, like, good, but it's not. They're withholding their money to, like, sometimes give out money, to sometimes help out people, instead of relinquishing most of their wealth that they don't even need mm -hmm. to help to actually help. And philanthropy helps you write off your taxes, which is why when you go to Chipotle and they're like, do you want to give $1 to save blah, blah, blah? It's just mm -hmm. for their taxes. So Batman's kind of a dick. I hate when people talk during the movie. Ooh, it's that scene, but it's better than Batman Returns. Did you just say Batman and Robin is better than Batman Returns? 
<laughs> are we gonna? Are the... we gonna? Is this gonna be a hot take? Are we gonna like this movie? <laughs> Robin suit. I am digging it. This guy with the cigarette you're about to see, the cigar. He was in Spider Man. He's one of the people that got turned into a, a skeleton from the bomb. Boys, please, let's show some gusto. <laughs> oh gosh, this is the one. She planned for the music to change. This is diegetic <laughs> sound, everyone. Which really begs the question if the other music was diegetic sound. Oh my god, the composer just inventing music. <laughs> He's just innovating with every note. And the Academy Award goes to... I wonder, I wonder what won best original score. 97, right? Yeah. Oh, Titanic. Oh, okay. Which, okay, well, Titan, sure, sure. <laughs> it was up against some stiff competition. Oh my Bro. god. You know Disturbed's first album, The Sickness? More like The Thickness. <laughs> I'm down with The Thickness. Nice. Weren't we supposed to be, like, criticizing films instead of being perverts? <laughs> Batman and Robin are like, hey. I forgot that this was a Batman movie for a second. Why not send Junior home early? I've got some wild oats to sow. Bro? Youth does have its advantages. Endurance, stamina. We saw this as children, like as young boys. <laughs> Come join me. My garden needs tending. You're a who oh needs what? <laughs> I'll bring everything you see here. Plus, everything, everything you, you don't. don't. That's right. Seven million. That man signed up for a credit card as Batman. <laughs> yep. He walked into Gotham Bank and said, <laughs> I want a credit card. What's your name, sir? Batman. I would like to open an account. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the light. Look at the lighting. On uh, both of them? On her specifically, but it looks great. Really? This? One of the worst movies ever made? On Based on this scene alone, you're wrong. Look at the lighting. It's actually, like, really good. Absolute cap. Sorry. <laughs> if you think this movie is, like, garbage, like the worst movie ever, I'm sorry you haven't seen enough movies and you need to try again, okay? <laughs> yeah, there are definitely worse movies out there. And this is actually kind of fun, so... It might be kind of good. Ooh, his suit is not... Did you see that? No, I didn't see it. What oh, happened? man. He turned his head in the suit and it did not look good. You'll see. Wow, look at this. Nice. Kind of impressive miniatures. It doesn't... You know, you watch movies enough, you can figure how they did it, but it doesn't look like... I don't know, the miniatures in, at the end of the Tim Burton movie. Like garbage? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is a comedy performance, I guess. <laughs> yeah, brother Wilfred. My brother Wilfred. Alfred and Wilfred. <laughs> He's just not Bruce Wayne at all. <laughs> That's just George Clooney. It really is. He wandered on set one day. Death and chance stole your parents. But rather than become a victim, you have done everything in your power to control the fate. I hate the, like, rather than become a victim thing. He's already a victim. You can't unvictim yourself. Like, yeah. he was the victim of his parents being murdered. When people were like, just don't be a victim, bro. It's like, yeah, just ignore trauma, forehead. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> It's Coolio. Is that who that is? Yeah. Was this movie a box office smash? I'm about to look it up right now. No, this was a bomb. This bombed? Oh, man. I'm pretty sure it was a bomb, but there's no way in hell that this didn't turn a profit because of all the people our age that literally ate this slop for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Every second <laughs> that we got, there's no way it hasn't made its money back. There's no way. Alfred's not sick. He's dying. Dying? Why is this man smirking? Because he's read to the end of the script. He knows what's going to happen. When they do um, Batman No Way Home eventually, do you think we're going to get all the Batmans together? That would be hilarious. The shot's kind of good. Come on. I hope Mr. Bane can swim. They're dead. <laughs> right? Like, supremely dead. What the heck? Did you see that? <laughs> yeah. Those were toys, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see their disguise coming into America? <laughs> In my wicked condition, I'm no match for the bad bird. 
You leave those boys to- I am no match for Batman. I hope he cannot hear me. <laughs> oh, she looks good. Water is wet. Adam. And, and evil. evil. <laughs> I want a Robin signal in the sky, all right? I'm tired of living in your shadow. All that ends right now. So they just had that argument about Poison Ivy. Mm -hmm. And then he goes to Poison Ivy and puts the rubber on his lips anyway. So they had that argument for what? Well, no, they're going to make up, so. Not before this. Before the the kiss. No, because he goes straight to Poison Ivy's thing, and you think Robin's going to die. And the twist is that he put the rubber on his lips. No, because I remember that they have, like, a conversation about him trusting him. And then Batgirl comes, right? No, Batgirl comes after. We'll see. <laughs> okay, I'm betting that I'm correct, and you are incorrect. What happens if you win? I don't know. No, they definitely have a conversation right before. That's why he goes there with the rubber lips. Nope. I remember. Where do you think you're going? It's not a bat light, it's a Robin signal. Okay, fuck you, shut up. <laughs> yeah, I knew it, I told you. I'm under some kind of magic spell. She wants to kill you, dick. What's up, geek? So I'm asking you, friend, partner, brother, will you trust me now? Okay, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah, there's there's no Batgirl, but but yeah. I can't be wrong. My <laughs> credibility. Don't worry, it's okay. Because I was concerned that they had them arguing, and then they just cut to Robin being like, Psych, you were spying on us, so I was just arguing with Bruce Wayne for no reason. So, <laughs> that's how I remembered it for some reason. Jesus. Nice. Oh my. Nice. I don't know if the cave should have been the last thing we saw. I think maybe the eyes would have been better to be the last shot. Yeah. But what do I know? It should have been the cape than the eyes, maybe. Maybe. Ugh, his suit is so good. I love it. What, how, like, the Robin logo goes into his shoulders? And just the black and red? Like, that's all you need. That's right. That's right! Production design really went off here. It's like Little Shop of Horrors, except for Batman. That's a great movie, by the way. It is a good movie. No, I said great. <laughs> like, 8 out of 10. I gotta rewatch. I need a sign. How about slippery when wet? Oh, hey, that you shot saw was that reverse. reverse. Yeah, I'll never <laughs> forget. As I told Lady Freeze when I pulled her plug, this is a one woman show. That was the same shot again, too, of Robin. That's the second time that they've used a shot twice. I found the Batcave. We gotta get those locks changed. She knows who we are. Guess we'll just have to kill her. Yep, we'll kill her later. We have work to do. Yeah, we'll just throw coins in the air. Is this the first Batman movie where he doesn't murder anybody? I guess so. Does he kill anybody in this movie? I don't think so. So this is... This is the definitive Batman film. This is film. the Batman, yeah. <laughs> nice. So she wore that costume for one scene and then put on a new costume? <laughs> yeah, for the toys. I think I've decided on my score for this film. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be kind of wild. I think I have two, but I'm like in the middle of two numbers. I gotta think about it. Uh oh. I'm assuming one of the numbers is five. Is it? I don't know. Is it? I don't know. Maybe it's a nine. Don't you fucking dare. <laughs> I mean, if you want to, go ahead. <laughs> no, I got you. Whoa, this movie's kind of woke. What the heck? Because a woman saved a man? Yeah, it's kind of woke. It was woke. It was woke. Um, it's woke. Yeah, Ooh. Ooh. Sound was peaking. The audio peaked so bad. It's happened a couple of times, honestly. <laughs> that isn't ice on the door. <laughs> As I told Lady Freeze when I pulled her plug, this is a one woman show. She lives. But vengeance isn't power. Anyone can take a life. But to give life, that's true power. A power you once had. Damn, Batman's kind of spitting for the first time ever. Yeah. What the heck? In the worst Batman movie, right? <laughs> Allegedly. Help me save another life. Show me how to cure McGregor's syndrome stage one. And maybe you can also save the life of the man your wife once loved. He's still inside you, Victor. Buried deep beneath the snow. Will you help me? What is this, Shakespeare? What the heck? What am I, emotional? That whole sequence kind of changed my score. 
George Clooney was like, you know what? I'm going to be Batman here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. He said anyone can take a life, but real power giving life? What the? Rehabilitation? The music, too? Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Banger after banger. The lighting? Why is Dick in his old Robin costume? No, he's in the new one. And she's not oh, in... Oh, yeah, he switched. Yeah, that's weird. Interesting. Might have to drop it down again. <laughs> <laughs> nope. That last scene was too good for the continuity to matter. Fuck it. What is Ooh, she, she looks euphoria? looks like euphoria. <laughs> <laughs> Jinx, you owe me a kiss? Hey. Surprise. I am your new cellmate. Uh-huh. And I've come to make your life a living hell. Dude, the lighting, holy shit. Oh my god. It looks so good. I'm still gonna be thinking about that scene. Yeah, right? It looks like really that was, good. That was some powerful stuff from the worst Batman. Allegedly. I mean, this Batman doesn't kill. I mean, Val Kilmer's kind of a hypocrite, and Michael Keaton's a murderer with a capital M. <laughs> And a hard R. Murderer. Oh, hell no. Hard R. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hit me with it. This movie, it knows what it is. It's having fun with everything. Batman was spitting at the end. George Clooney wasn't really the best Batman slash Bruce Wayne until that one scene. But I just wish we got more of that. It's memorable. It's super cheesy. But it's really I like funny. it as well. It's funny. It's fun. Um, And it's intentional. So it's fine. And I'm giving it a 5 out of 10. Oh, wow. Um, so, <laughs> I love the colors. There's some beautiful looking scenes in this movie. Uma Thurman, oh my goodness, all the time. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger Every scene. Like, makes this movie for me. I think he's great. Every line that he says is gold. Or... <laughs> Every line that he says is cold. <laughs> it was. It's ridiculous. It's a ridiculous movie. The music is great. I wish we got more of the Batman that George Clooney is in that last scene. But there's just so he was much spitting. He was spitting hot fire flames. Are you gonna hot take it right now? Out of the quadrilogy, this is the second best Batman movie. Yeah. And I'm gonna give Batman and Robin a six out of ten. <laughs> oh wow. I really enjoyed that. It peaked and valleyed throughout the movie, whereas the first film just peaked consistently and then it dropped off. How would you rank these movies? Or 89, number one. Number two. Uh, number two, this one. Yeah. Number three, Returns. Number four, Forever. Based. Do you have anything else you want to say? Um, Rewatch this movie, guys. I think you like it. You'll have fun. Don't go into it super serious like the Dark Knight trilogy. Yeah, I would recommend rewatching this as well. And just think about all the movies that we get now. And even the movies yeah. that uh, try to attempt comedy, they aren't as earnest as this. Someone's going to comment and be like, oh, I guess that's your one bad take. Psych? I, I don't have a bad take. <laughs> Sorry. Batman and Robin is good. So I think, is that it? Make sure you guys keep an eye out for the Matrix video. It's coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you agree or disagree, tell us in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share with your friends. Do all the things. Bye 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 You have to get past the Avengers and Marvel shit at some point, okay? Other f***ing people make movies.